today, we're droning. What's up guys, I'm back again today. We got the DJI Phantom 3 Professional. We're gonna uh, pretty much give you guys some tips on how to use it, how to fly it, and just like little ins and outs about it as we unpackage it. So come on, check this out. This is a DJI Phantom 3 bag right here we have and uh, the Phantom fits right in there. Actually backwards. It fits right in there perfectly. It protects it. It has these little things to protect the wings and has little holders for your batteries. I'm gonna put the battery in. Batteries last about 25 to 24 minutes depending on how fast you're flying it and if you have these props on. These props first get the DJI you want to so definitely put these on because they will protect like the wings and when you're first trying to fly it and stuff it's a little hard to keep it stable if you tip it over without this <sighs> losing all your uh, propellers so definitely definitely want to do that all right this is the uh, controller for the uh, DJI Phantom 3 professional See, it flips out. Your cell phone can go here or uh, iPad. Or if you're an Android user, not over here, homie. Now nah, you can use the Android. I'm just messing. But um, pops out. You want to keep your uh, antennas out and make it sure you can keep a good signal. Now, if you look up here, see this tree. You don't want trees in between you and your family. You don't want any obstacle in between you and your family. You want to clear a field of view like that right there. Alright, so this is the controller again. I got my iPhone 6 on there. iPhone 6, you get pretty much no lag. Only time I get lag is when I'm around power poles. Don't want to fly around power poles because it gives you a lot of interference. So that's the only time I ever actually had trouble was flying in between buildings or flying around power poles. So definitely don't want to do that. In order to turn it on, you just push the button twice, hold it down for a second time, and it comes on. You get a red dot when it's not connected. And then you want to uh, turn your app on. Don't answer any phone calls. You will get phone So I have gotten phone calls. Oh, hot chicks. <laughs> but I have gotten phone calls when I was uh, flying. I've actually answered it one time. Didn't crash. So I guess you could answer the phone if you wanted to. But I don't advise you to do that. So you go to the app. You hit the camera. Obviously, it's not going to come on because the phantom's not on. So in order to turn the phantom on, you just... Double push the button, second time, hold it in. Get, get down low, get down low. And it, it's on. Now you see the green dot. That means it's popping. It's ready to go. We are ready to fly, my shooters. We are ready to fly. Alright, when you turn it on, you get it all started up. Make sure you read all your manuals and update all your software because it's not good to fly without updated software. Right now all my software is updated. It will let you know right here when it first comes on. Everything that's going on with it. You got your uh, calibration is good. Gimbal is normal. Radio signal is good. And if it's not good, it will tell you. It will let you know. It will you know even let you know if the batteries are bad. Right now my batteries are at 98%. My, uh, my card is good. Alright, in order to lift it up off the ground, it's very, very simple. You start the engines up. You just push these two together. The and it starts up. In order to lift it up off the ground, after it's on and ready to go, it tells you everything is good to go. Check your satellites. Make sure you have at least 10 to 15 satellites. It'll let you know, safe to fly, and you're good to go. And then you just go up.
I had my shooters, I was ball three. We're checking out the DJI uh, Phantom Professional 3.